Hello. What's up, Wayne? How are you? I'm good, brother. What's going on? Nothing much. Just making it, man. What are you doing? Yeah, that's all you can do, man. One day at a time. Just oh, relaxing, yeah. man. All right, yeah, man. Uh, it was nice to meet you, man. A couple of times that we, that we met in Merced and uh, had you in Oakland, dude. Yes, yes, definitely. I was, uh, I was tripping out, man. You were super, super busy at the kickoff party, man. Man, that's look, that's but it, but like I said, the moments you can't redo that. No kind of way, brother. It's just moments in time. Either you're there or you're not. The videos and pictures really don't do it justice. It's it's about that feeling, and you saw that in the room. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, it was cool, man, watching you work. Man, that was uh, and you're all over the place now, man. Uh, that that uh, that's that TV spot you had, that was really cool. Like I said, that's just the rewards of of the dedication, man. Over over 28 years, man, I couldn't even trip that stuff up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's but it comes at you, and it's like somebody's taking notice. So all I do is just walk through the doors that opens up. So, uh, hey, uh, before we get started, can I get you to do some radio IDs for me? Sure. All right, cool. Everybody wants you on the podcast, but I mean, it's like, I, you know, I can get you on the podcast this way for sure. All right. What's up, Raider Nation? This is The Violator, and you're watching the Raider Homer channel. Hello, Raider Nation. Welcome to Monday Nights Live. I'm Raider Homer, and tonight I have three elite members of the Raider Nation coming on to talk to you about the Oakland experience. Al Davis said that the greatness of the Raiders is in the future, and the future is bright with our first guest, Little Jay, leading the way for the next generation of the Raider Nation. Our second guest, Alonzo Skip Thomas, is coming onto the channel for the first time. It's always an honor to have Raider royalty on the Raider Homer channel, so I'm looking forward to talking to him. Our third guest, Michael Aragon, a.k.a. Raider Droopy, is a direct descendant of the creator of the Little Homies, and Mike has carried the torch of the Little Homies into the Raider Nation while leading the Black Hole in Richmond. He's a busy guy. I'm glad he's taking time to come on the channel. So be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to Raider Homer on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, so that you can hear all the great interviews from the Raider Nation. <clears throat> also, follow and subscribe to the Only Nation podcast with me and Heidi Stabbert, a.k.a. Kevlar Prom Dress of Ladies of Darkness. They got a great podcast. Y'all should go check them out. You can hear the Only Nation podcast on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many other podcast apps. Heidi and I will continue to bring you Raider opinions on the uh, Raider off-season transactions and news. All right, don't forget to message me on any of my social media accounts to purchase the first printing of the Raider Homer Bullseye sticker. Patches are being made. These are two for five dollars, and I'm going to sell a package deal once I get my patches in. It'll be two stickers and a patch for ten dollars. So hit me up, Raider Nation, in my DMs, and I'll get you uh, squared away, all right? All right, so hang tight while I go and get little Jay on the phone. Raider Nation, here he is, Little Jay. 
Now, little J. What up? Oh, go ahead, little J. Go ahead. So, say hello. Hey. <laughs> Oh, man, you almost had it. I'm sorry I interrupted you. How you doing, little dude? Good. Good? Yeah, man. Hey, so did you watch that video of you interviewing Captain Jack and Hell Raider and Oso Raider at the SCRN Blackout in Houston? Yeah. Did you have fun doing that? Yeah. Okay, well, cool. You want to do it again when we run into each other? Yep. Yep. Uh, don't be shy, dude. Don't be shy. You're never shy, you know, at the games or at the events, man. Let it all out. Let that swagger out. How was your day? Hello? You didn't hear what you said. Huh? What did you say? Did you ask him a question? Oh, no, not yet. How you doing, Natalie? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> He's nervous. He don't know what to say. That's all right. That's all right. That's why we're getting him on here. He'll get used to it. Uh, so, yeah, I was just asking him if he was excited to interview super fans at the next event that we're going to be at together. Absolutely. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, little Jay. Come on, brother. You got it. You got it. Let me ask you this, little Jay. What inspired you about the Raiders to become such a diehard Raider fan? Well, because I'm a diehard Raider fan, because I love football and the Raiders' history. Oh, yeah? That's cool. Mm hmm Who's your favorite player? Josh Jacobs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's really good. Why? Yeah, because he's really good. He bought his dad a house when they were very homeless when he was little. That's special, right? The Raider Nation is always uh -huh. about taking care of family, your family. You know, we're all a family, and it's cool that he reps the Raiders like that, huh? Uh-huh. Cool. Do you have a Josh Jacobs jersey yet? No, but, like, whenever, like, he's getting used to staying the Raiders, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to make my mom buy me one. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Cool. So, uh, you know, who are some of your favorite super fans? Who inspired you to become a super fan? Well, I have a lot, but Mr. J and Joker, Sophista, Lyric, Gorilla Rilla, Deadpool, Violator, Rosenda Brothers. My boss, Adam Jack, Black Widow, Jersey Tucker, Skeletor, Delonzo, Oso, and Hell Raider. But last but not least, Hulk Raider Homer. Oh. But I have a lot. I, but I have a lot that I can't even think of. Uh, I know, man. There's so many of us out there, man. Everybody's my mm -hmm. favorite, man. Yeah, but I've seen you with uh, Jay Darius a whole lot, man. So it looks like y'all got a good little friendship going. Uh-huh. That's cool, man. That's real cool. Are you going to be at the the t uh, TNBC third annual bash? Probably. Probably. Ooh. My mom said. <laughs> That'll be cool, man. That's when we can do the interviews again. There's going to be a lot of super fans yeah. there. Yeah. But you can't get nervous though. I mean, you did great the first, you know, the first time. So I think you'll do good. Yeah, I think I'll be good. <laughs> oh yeah. So, how long does it take you to get ready for a game? You know, on game day. Maybe about thirty or twenty-five minutes, because I got to get dressed, get my makeup on, like get my hair done. It's a lot. Yeah, thirty minutes is a long time. Do you uh -huh. do your makeup or does your mom do your makeup? Well, my mom does my makeup because I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> yeah, you'll get good at it. You going to continue to be a super fan your whole life or what? I don't really know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you always have a spot here on the Raider Homer channel to 
you know, do interviews uh-huh. or just whatever you want to do, man. Let me know. We'll find a way to get it done. Well, thanks. So, you know, the Raiders are in Vegas now. A lot of people are sad. You know, I want to know mm-hmm. what you're going to miss the most about Oakland. Well, the stadium, the tailgates, and all the friends that can't travel to Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, man. The tailgates of Oakland were awesome. You know, we met, me and my daughter met you in November of 2018. You know, y- y'all got a picture together. So, I'm looking forward to many more times of meeting. But Oakland was special. The Oakland was special. Yeah, ever since we moved to LA, back to Oakland, now it's Las Vegas. Hey, but it's closer to us. Right? Mm-hmm. Just a little bit, just in Nevada. <laughs> it's like a 19 hour drive. God, can you imagine driving 19 hours to go see the Raiders? Yeah, no way. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to take a lot of breaks, huh? Yeah, rather fly, because that's what we should do, because we live in Wichita, Kansas. Yeah. So how do you like flying, dude? How many games have you been to? A lot. I don't even know how many. I've been doing this thing for like ever since 2017 or 2018. That's cool, man. 2017. It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. I ran into my rookie wall my first year. It was, I was almost burnt out. I had to take a break. Have you ever had to just take a break? Sometimes. Yeah, during the off season, right? Huh? During the off season, or are you do you believe that there is no off season for the Raiders and the Raider Nation? Yeah, for twenty four seven. Twenty four seven, three sixty five. Oh yeah. So, uh, who's your favorite Raider player of all time? Um. Still Josh Jacobs. It used to be Coop. Oh yeah, I asked you that. <laughs> now he's in the now he's in the cowgirls. Oh yeah, Cooper. I I call him Pooper. Man, he dropped the ball all the time. You remember the little toy that he came out with? Did you get that? Mm-hmm. Remember how the ball would fall out of his hand every time you touched him? It was the most accurate mm-hmm. toy ever made. Yeah. I don't get him. Well, let me tell you why I like him. Because you, my last name's Cooper, and his last name's Cooper. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Please forgive me. I, I didn't mean to, you know, make you upset. Hopefully, <laughs> I didn't make you upset. So, uh, you going? Uh, what kind? Of, how many games do you think you're going to this year? Uh, home opener. The Chiefs. Two and then uh, Houston, three, Tennessee, and then I guess that's it. Only four games. Well, man, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot. You got a very cool mom taking you to all those games. Well, she's rich. His mom not. <laughs> well, she's rich because she has your love, right? And the love of the Raider Nation. Uh huh. Plus, she, she, she flies you around everywhere. So, what do you got to do? you have to have good grades to go to these games? What kind of rules? What do you got to do to get to these games? Well, pack up, airport, eat, some stops, maybe. Just go to Oakland or whatever city that we're playing. Pretty easy. <laughs> Because I'm the kid that does nothing. I just play Madden. You just play Madden, huh? How yeah, good Madden are you at Madden? Mm, pretty good. I'm like uh, uh, third. Do you play online or just do you play the computer? The computer. I just play computer. Oh, okay. So I was going to say, I'll, I'll get online and smash you at Madden if you wanted to. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. What do you do? Do you just run all four verticals and just throw the ball deep or what? Or the sweep outside? Well, it's 
it's been okay outside, but I throw the I throw football good. Oh. Mm, sometimes four pictorial. I don't, I don't know the last part, but but it's like four wide receivers. So two wide receivers one and and two wide receivers two. They just go straight, and my and the half back goes straight and then turns left. Awesome. That's tight all, end that's up all four verts. Yeah, verticals. That's everybody's favorite play. Uh -huh. Can you get user interceptions? Sometimes. I used to love to do that. I would sit there and I would lurk with the, the linebacker in the middle of the field. And whenever they would throw it, I'd just run over there and use a pick. Boom, run it for a touchdown. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't buy Madden this year, though. It had Patrick Mahomes on it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to buying that yeah. game. Yeah. Well, right now I'm in the divisional playoff with the Patriots. The score zero to zero at second quarter, nine minutes and thirty six seconds. Are you winning? No, we're tied zero zero. Oh, man! You gotta score, man. You gotta win. You gotta beat the Patriots. Well, I'm I am in the red zone right now. Okay. Hey, what, uh, would you be upset if Tom Brady came to the Raiders? A little bit. Why? A little bit. More like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you why. Because if that top rule wasn't even existed, then I'll kind of like him. Well, because man. now he's a Patriot. And he signed a two-year contract with the Patriots. So yeah. now he's a free agent for them. Man, he's a free agent? Yeah, they're trying to, people are saying he should come to the Raiders. Yeah. That's yeah. What, that's why I'm asking you. What if they trade that's Derek so Carr and, and sign Tom Brady? Are you going to be mad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carr's my favorite player sometimes. Only, he's not when, when he's super bad, but when he's good, I like him. Yeah. That's about the way it goes, man. That's the way it goes. All fans are like that. Yeah. Did you ever get to meet Derek Carr? Never. Oh, man. I saw that Gorilla Woods on that Jags game. Yeah, that was cool, huh? Uh-huh. I wish I was Gorilla Woods so I could just meet Carr. How many times have you seen a game in the black hole? Or did you see a game in the black hole? A couple times. A couple times, but like... like at, two or three times? Yeah, two, three. Two, three times, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, got to be loud over there. How loud were you? Very loud. Like whenever, like for example, Tennessee's offense, fourth quarter, four minutes and and 36 seconds in red zone, I'm just waving my arms up for everybody to get loud. So then the play won't be good and then they just have to kick it. You know, Jersey, she snuck me into the black hole. It was cool. I got to chill out with Hell Raider oh. there for a little bit. But then Jersey disappeared and I had to go to my seat. But it was cool. She got me in there. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jersey. You're welcome. <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. So what's up, man? Uh, what are your goals this year? Mm. Just doing old regular stuff like playing Madden. Going to school every day. Going to school, going to boring school every day. Hey, well, I hope you do good in school, dude. School's important, man. So you gotta, you gotta do real good. Yeah. Study hard, man. Well, we do football at school. That's the thing I like about it. Yeah, that's cool. What position do you play? Mm, position, quarterback. Oh, man. You going to get to the NFL and take the Raiders to the Super Bowl? Maybe. I hope so, man. Then I'll be like, I know that guy. That would be so cool. Well, only whatever team I get drafted by. I don't know if I even get drafted. 
I guess I get drafted by the Browns in the future. Hopefully not. <laughs> the Browns? <laughs> yeah, that was my guess in my head. Oh, man. You just request a trade. Tell them, I'm only going to play for the Raiders. That's it. Well, only if the draft people know that I'm a Raiders fan, of course the Raiders will draft me. Oh, yeah, I bet they would. I should have to be a Raiders fan for a long time. <laughs> oh, man, that's cool, man. I'm, you know, I'm glad for you, dude. I'm yeah, glad cause... you're having a good time out there. Glad you're doing good in school. You know, keep studying, keep playing football, man. Don't play too much Madden, though. All right, don't play too much Madden. Play <laughs> real football. And study hard. Yep. <laughs> but if I was in in the NFL, my number would be eighty four. I, I I don't like Antonio Brown. I just I don't know. Jerry Porter, he yeah. wore eighty four. He was a good raider. And I just and that's my bad number two, eighty four. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. What A.B. did to the Raiders was pretty bad, man. A lot of people were upset. Yeah, because some people were saying that was his plan all along just to get out of the NFL. Yeah. Yeah, he was playing a lot of games. Now he's out for sure. He'll, play, he'll ne- probably never get back in, you know? Mm-hmm. Because so, A.B. was not Juju Smith-Schuster because, like, he, like, Antonio Brown used to be in commercials. But then Juju Smith got better than him, and then Juju Smith went in commercials. More popular. Yeah. Now that's probably why he wanted to get out of the Steelers, because Juju Smith. And it's because that Bengals kid, like, helmet to helmet hit him. Yeah, you know who hit him on that play? Vaughn? Well, he's in the Raiders. No, yeah, but in, when he was playing the Bengals and he got knocked out, it was Vontez Burfecht that knocked him out, who played for the Raiders mm-hmm. last year, too. Yeah, he he helmet to helmet hit someone in that Colts game. Yeah, yeah, yep, and he got kicked out for the whole year. That was a little unfair, huh? Uh-huh. Well, one, it's not smart to do that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can resign him again. He doesn't make that same mistake. I like Vontez Perfect. I barely even hear about him. Yeah. Yeah, well, just because he got suspended for the whole year. So now that free agency is coming up, we're going to find out what we're going to do in the offseason. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does, dude. We're all just speculating, man. It's a guessing game. Mm hmm. All right, bud. Well, I'm going to let you get back to doing your homework, right? You're going to go do your homework and study hard so you can get drafted by the Raiders. I don't have you don't have homework? Okay. Nope. Oh. No homework. Oh, man. We'll study then. You go ahead and study, all right? I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool, man. Well, thanks for having me. No problem, man. Thanks for coming on. I can't wait to bring you back on. I can't wait to... Film you re- doing more interviews, man, out there in the Raider events, in the Raider world. Yep. All right, man, you have a good night. Tell your mom I'll give her a call. Okay. <laughs> All right, bud. Well, bye, Homer. Bye. All right, Raider Nation, there you go. Little J, man, that kid has some... He has some fire in him, man. He loves the Raiders. It's all over the tailgates, all over the TV, all over social media. Make sure you find him. Oh, I forgot to make sure he told you how to find him on social media. But he's there. And I'll get, I'll put a link in the video. So find little Jay. His mom is Natalie Cooper. You know, you can friend her on Facebook. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to our next guest, Alonzo Skip Thomas.
All right, Raider Nation. We got him. Alonzo Skip Thomas. Raider royalty. The son of Dr. Death himself. Man, dude. It's pretty cool to have the son of Dr. Death here on the Raider Homer channel. How you doing, Alonzo? Oh, I'm doing great. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. You know, just making it. Grinding every day. Working six days a week so I can make it to these Raider events. Try to cover as much as I can, dude. All right, now, right. now your, father, your father's birthday was uh, February 7th, right? And in your post celebrating his birthday, you were talking about carrying on the legacy that he left for you to take to the next level. So talk about how important it is for you to honor your father's legacy and help keep his memory alive within the Raider Nation. Oh, it means everything to me, man. It's what he built, you know, and that I'm carrying on. You know, to the next generation, I understand what the Raider Nation is all about, you know, what my father stood for and, you know, what we, you know, represent in the silver and black, you know, whether it be whatever booster club or wherever country we're at, you know, we're here to represent the silver and black as one nation. One nation, man. That's badass, dude. Good. All right. So one way that you carried on his legacy in, and, you know, and his memory was the Skip Thomas tailgate. Uh, what does it take to host a tailgate, you know, and put together a party like that? Well, you know, you got to build a following for one. Uh, you got to definitely, you know, have positive people around you. And, um, you know, just being in the nation and doing a whole lot of things, you know, over time, I built alliances with a whole lot of great people. And, um, you know, they believe in what I got going on. They follow the Silver and Black Alliance movement. You know, and it, it's great to have those people, and it's also an honor. We have, like, 30 super fans out there and, you know, great food and, uh, you know, great, great environment. Uh, you had a lot of – you had some players go out there too, right? Yeah, we've had some players come out over time, you know. You know a lot of those guys were my dad's teammates or – you know, people he uh, met over time, and even from other teams, we've had players come out, you know, to our tailgates that uh, were friends with him and mostly in the Bay Area. And I uh, ended up staying there after their careers were over. So were you born in the Bay Area? Yeah, I was born um, in San Leandro, but raised in East Oakland, California, um, and up until high school ended. And I uh, moved on after that. And uh I've been in Vegas for now about off and on for about 15 years. So second home for me. So luckily they're coming here. Yeah, I was going to say, that's cool. You went from ground zero to ground zero and you know both territories. That's cool. Yes, sir. I mean, that'll give you a good edge, right? Bringing, knowing how to bring that Oakland flavor, as I call it, to, uh, to Vegas, you know, because a lot of people, that's what they're saying. It's like, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same, but it, it could be very similar if the right people were in there, and it sounds like you're the right guy. So, no, no, I'm. I just been blessed to, you know, like I said, have the opportunity to uh, continue following them, being in the same city as them. You know, you know, I got lucky. You know, I can't even say it any other way. I, it was a toss up between a different, a bunch of different cities, and just so happened they, you know, landed in Vegas and. I think it's a great opportunity for the uh, the Raiders brand to grow even bigger than it is and, you know, bring on a different market. I mean, we're already worldwide, but, you know, having us be here in Vegas, I mean, everyone comes from all around in Vegas, so it's a, a huge market. Oh, yeah. You know, I, it was it a was 50-50 thing growing up in East Oakland. I'm, I grew up blocks away from the stadium and Pops playing. I got a lot of memories there, but you know, uh, things change and some, most of the time is for the better. And hopefully we can, uh, you know, this was a positive for us. What's, what's it like growing up the son of an NFL player? Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of double edged. I mean, it's, it's different because, um, you know, you, you want your father to be there, but you got to understand at the same time what he had to do to get where he was at, you know, where things ended up. I mean, he ended up at the top, you know, he got to play for the Raiders and bring the first uh, championship home. And he did a lot of great things. So it's kind of like you want him there, but you understand. And I understand, especially as a, as an adult now, 
what he had to sacrifice to, you know, create a legacy. It's difficult, but then it's it's the coolest thing in the world, you know. Yeah. Were a lot of people asking you for autographs and stuff like that from him? Oh, yeah. Everywhere yeah. we went. I mean, even people I wouldn't think that recognized him outside of his helmet or when his career was over. I mean, my dad uh, is from Kansas City, and uh, we would go out to Kansas, and even uh, Chiefs fans would come up to him and, and um, you know, couldn't believe they were meeting him or whatever it be at the time. Or I remember you, Skip, you used to give us a hard time, and, you know. It, they're you know that's the ultimate respect yeah that's cool man so yeah you, you know you're talking you we're talking a little bit about legacies and so you know you've been able to carry on your father's legacy but also blaze your own trail and create your own legacy you know and so you're doing that as the founder and the president of the sba the silver and black alliance so what's the sba's mission in oakland and what's the sba's mission in vegas um, the mission is to reach the masses and be able to create an alliance to where um, I started this group and it's it's always going to be a, a, a health group first. My dad did a lot of charity work and I watched him do it. And that's how the idea came about with the SBA. And um, Vegas and Oakland is too small for the ideas that I have. It's a worldwide thing. So where the we all come together for different reasons during the year or on the off season too, and just be able to help people, whether it be $5 donations or a thousand billion, whatever it is, we uh, all put our money together and collectively we um, end up helping a couple of families or uh, individuals in different hard situations that we may know, or, you know, it's, it's been a lot of different things where uh, we've just raised money to do uh, great things. That's awesome, man. That's uh, I say it every time I hear it. You know, that's what makes the Raider Nation so awesome is that we give back so much. You know, it's there's no surprise when you hear, you know, the team giving back to the Vegas, the you know, the city of Vegas for food. It's no surprise when you hear that Dr. Death was heavy into charity. It's, it's no surprise when you hear each each of the Raider Nation come on here and talk about giving back to charity, man. It's inspiring, dude. That's you know, because like uh, my boss it's says and things like that. You know, we get this bad rep as a rowdy right. fan base but hey at the same time man we're giving back so much you know we, we, we shouldn't be considered a rowdy fan base we're just a mm -hmm. dedicated fan base you know and then there was a there was a mind that sparked mine and i hope that i sparked the next mind to do something even greater than i'm doing now you know and i think that's why i'm in this you know is to keep the the tradition and help um with that with the, the raider nation doing these great charity events and different things that they do from the front office to uh, regular fans like us, you know, um, it, it's it's inspiring to see these Raider Booster Clubs come together and and in different organizations and throw these big, huge events and then you know put their their money where their mouth is and and actually do something and make a difference out there in the community by contributing to uh, um, charities or you know donating their time or money to in their efforts to to um you know doing different things for people you know it doesn't matter what it is on, on what scale as long as we're making a difference out there and, and i'm proud of those guys so i'm sitting here right now and i'm digging up every greater organization out there making a difference that's awesome man you know you might have touched on this a little bit but let's let's see if you can get a little bit more out of that uh you know what kind of relationships have you developed with the players and coaches that knew your father Oh man, it's it's endless, man. I mean, especially as a kid when my dad was around and we would do different things. I mean, not from John Madden to, you know, uh I've seen Al Davis a bunch of times, but my dad, his teammates, I didn't know any difference when I was younger that they were teammates. I just knew that that was Uncle Jack, you know, Jack Tatum or uh, Cliff Branch or those guys, those guys, uh Clint Daniels, those guys were my dad's friends. I didn't know any different you know it was like uncle clem or you know uh and john matuzak spent the night at my house countless many a times one of my dad's best friends i mean i didn't know he was on movies or things like that it was just like uh, he was like a just a character to me i love john matuzak with all my heart man he just he would 
I, would, I could do like backflips and stuff like that. And he'd just be like, hey, man, go skip, give me a backflip. Let's go outside. He was really like that. John Matula was like, yo, let's just go outside and race. Those are the memories that I have that mean something to me. Um, Tom Flores and, you know, those guys, they see me sometimes. It's, it's, it's uh, shocking to walk up to somebody like um, Fred Bolitnikoff and he'd be more happy to see me than I'm happy to see him. It's, it's crazy. It's feeling, you know. <laughs> That's badass, dude. That's yeah. badass. Yeah, it's it's a it's an honor more than anything else. More than it makes me feel like some badass, or you know, it, it's just such an honor to you know see these other people be around them, and I remember them being in my kitchen eating my grandmother's food. You know. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's a unique perspective, man. That is awesome. Well, I'm, I'm I don't know if you know this, but I got I I'm writing a book. You know, I've been working on it for the past five years or so, but just so the Raider Nation knows, it's not done. You know, I just, I don't talk about it much because people's expectations are different things, but the book is still being worked on. It'll be done by the end of 2020. Um, it's a story about me and my father and what, what it is like to be the son of, or, uh, you know, just kid of, of a, a star or a football player or just, anybody that's in an entertainment, you know, business or anything like that, that has to be away or, you know, it, it's a tough, tough situation to be in, but it's also a blessing. Yeah. I mean, you learned a lot about giving back and I mean, I, yeah, I mean, those great, you were around so many great people that did so many great things. I mean, those are big shoes to fill and you seem to want to do that and well on your way to doing it, man. That's, that's really cool. And I'll definitely, buy that book and read it man i'll add it to my collection of raider books i appreciate that the book's called dr till death now with that being said though can i maybe i'll ask this question i was reading badasses right and in there it mm -hmm. said that they that they would send skip to the hospital after the game just to kind of keep them level-headed is there any truth to right. that right. Well, uh, there is a little bit of truth to that, but the truth is that my dad checked himself in. My dad checked himself in because of a whole bunch of different reasons, just to check himself out and make sure that the Raider Nation or, or people in the organization knew he was taking care of himself. Yeah, okay. My dad was a wild boy, you know, so. Yeah. Man, I was reading that book, Badasses. is awesome. I love reading books about the Raiders, man, so I'll definitely read your book. Most definitely. It's going to affect a lot of people in a lot of different ways and uh, show the realism of uh, what it's actually like to, to have lived that life, you know, and it's kind of a timeline thing between his life and my life, you know, where we are, we're at in different, you know, the same time or, you know, it's, uh, it's going to affect a lot of people. And by the end of the book, they'll definitely have a lot of respect for my father and, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, make some of these players out there that are have children out there maybe think a little bit differently or the mothers of these children think a little bit differently and maybe it'll help people out a little bit and that's what i'm looking forward to that's awesome man that's good stuff dude good stuff man okay <laughs> yes yeah. raiders are doing some great things and there's some great people out there that are doing some great things in the inside of the nation. Some of these booster clubs and um, just clubs in, in general, you know what I mean? And just Raider Nation clubs all over the nation, man. They're, it's running wild. And I, I'm happy to see it. You know, it's going to be a different thing with them coming to Vegas and completely different vibe. And the cultural shock is going to hit us hard. But I know we'll adjust it and it'll be one nation no matter what it becomes. Man, dude, so you've already answered some of my questions right here. Like, <laughs> I guess your favorite Raider, you said, was Matuzak, right? No, my actual, my favorite Raider of all time is, is Marcus Allen. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. The Did you ever get to meet him? Thing, the run is the first thing I can remember. Like, actually watching that game and, you know, watching them win that championship. That's the first game I can remember, like, sitting down all the way through. You know, I was born in 76, you know. You know, 83 is not too far from there. So, and, uh, I, I, you know, it, it was just like a, 
like one of the greatest thing I, I ever seen. You know what I mean? I, I was playing football at the time. So whenever I hit the field, I wasn't Skip Thomas. I was Marcus Allen. That's cool. <laughs> you know? I used to pretend I was Bo Jackson. Yeah, he's, that's the man right there. <laughs> I was a little yeah, bit was... slower than him, but, you know, and a little bit shorter, <laughs> but, you know, I, I was balling though, man. Right, right. You know, that was the dude right there, man. That's their first memory I have of like watching the game and getting so excited I couldn't contain myself was when they could, he made that cutback. It was a wrap for me. Favorite player of all time. Hell yeah. So earlier you mentioned that you got to meet Al Davis, man. Like what's your favorite Al Davis memory? My favorite Al Davis memory was he couldn't believe how short I was compared to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's hitting about six three, about six four almost. I'm over here, five nine. He was like, "Wait, man, you look a lot like your dad, but you didn't get his height. You must have took after your mom." I said, "Yeah." I said, "I want to try out anyway, Mrs. Davis." <laughs> we joked about it. <laughs> uh, that was about it, you know. I mean, I, I ran into him a couple of times. You know, he was always super nice to me, and he would always like shake his head and tell me my dad was a character or whatever. But um, Al Davis is a uh, man. If I ever put somebody on a pedestal, it'd be him. As far as the Raider Nation goes, man, is you can't duplicate what he did, not only in the nation but in the NFL. So Al Davis is on a whole another level for me, and what he did for my father, you know, he gave my father a chance, you know, so. Have you ever had the chance to meet uh, Mark Davis? I met Mark Davis on passing passing by him, but um, never sat down with him. I'm sure we'll have our chance as soon as you know when the Raiders are here. You know, I'll have my opportunity to actually actually talk to him. But I told him who I was. He shook my hand. We passed by each other. You know, shared some smiles, and then uh, that was it. Well, how do you feel about his decision to move the Raiders to Vegas? I believe anything that is beneficial for the Raiders is what we need to do. I wouldn't care if we went to Mars or Africa, Texas, wherever we were going to settle, as long as it was going to be beneficial to the Raiders. We as fans and, and, and our Raider players deserve a new stadium. Um, opportunities presented itself in different places besides Oakland. The organization took the, the opportunity to take it, and hopefully we made all the right decisions, and I'm behind it. It doesn't matter where city, what country we go to, I'm following the Raiders. So as far as city fans go, I advise you all out there to change your minds about how you feel about representing the city. I'm from Oakland, California, East Oakland, the heart of Oakland. And I still feel that way. I feel that, you know, what is best for the organization is best for the organization. I'm going to ask you guys to do what I'm doing, but I'm following the Raiders. You know what I mean, I don't care where they go. From the Bay to L.A. to Las Vegas, right? That's it, man. And, you know, it's a brand. It's not a city thing. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If it was a city thing, we wouldn't go as far as outside of Oakland. We would still be a city team. We wouldn't be a worldwide organization and worldwide you know on scale like that known so there's people in there uh, somewhere in japan wearing our our hats and or in indonesia somebody's got a, a jersey or a hoodie or something on and we got the nerve to be city fans it's crazy you know what i mean whatever is best for the organization is best for us as a nation yes sir yes sir you know i that remember stadium is beautiful man i don't know if you've been here since it's Gone up, but I rolled past it. You know, I was just coming in back into town uh, the other day and on the freeway and just looked at it, man. That thing is beautiful, man. It's crazy. We're gonna have the best stadium in 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 the NFL. Yeah, we went from the worst stadium and the, and the last stadium to to play with the football team and a baseball team to the 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 newest stadium. You know, and as much as I love that stadium and as much as I love the the memories I have, because I. See, people, I mean, and I'm not saying I'm on a different level by any means, but I have different memories than people have. I remember walking through the corridors and the, you know, the locker room and stuff like that with my dad. So that, that building was 
<clears throat> excuse me, was very difficult for me to let go of. You know what I'm saying? Just as much as anybody else is, you know? Yeah. It's difficult in our own ways, our own memories, our own times and, and uh, mem- moments we share with people. Mine with my father, you know, and some of his teammates in different positions where I've seen them hurting or I've seen the insides of stuff, you know what I mean? And it, even at a young age, it, it was shocking or, you know, made me think differently about the game as I got older and older, you know, it was like, wow, even technology nowadays is on a different level. The stuff my dad ended up, you know, leaving his career for, he would probably be playing if he got that injury in a a year later or a year and a half later, you know, or six months, some of those injuries those guys took back then. So it's just trying to evolve. And that's what we're doing as an organization. Well, I mean, with so many great memories and such strong ties to Oakland, what are you going to miss the most about Oakland? I'm going to miss the tailgating with the people that um, kind of grew in this game with me. You know, this this inside, this, you know, inside of the game. And those people, even losing some of those people over the last couple of years or seeing different things and how, you know, we feel about this whole cultural shock that has happened. I'm going to miss those people, you know, and being in in that one particular place, but it's going to be a whole new one. So I'll embrace that too. You know, when we find a place to tailgate or find a place to enjoy each other's time, but the relationships I probably say is the best thing about that. And I'm going to miss that because some of those people won't be able to afford it or, um, you know, I'm just used to seeing them year in, year out. Well, you just mentioned some of the people that you've lost, and uh, Bedazzled was one of them, right? So, and you had a tribute to her, right, Veronica? Yeah, most definitely. You know, she was one of my best friends, you know, I've ever had, not just in the nation, just outside of it, inside of it. We were, there was my real, like, sister. You know, we talked every day in the morning and stuff, and talk for hours, you know, and just been there for each other through, through different times. And um, it's, it's been a difficult, it was very difficult letting her go. And, um, but I'm, I'm super gra- glad and blessed that she was in my life, you know. She taught me a lot, and that's what you take from those people that come and they go. You know, you take the best from those moments, and you remember, and you just never forget, you know. You don't, you don't let them, them die off with with the shell that were brought in here and lived in, you know, on this earth physically, you, you remember those people in your heart, your your mind, you know, and you uh, tribute them, you know, here and there, you know, whether it be a thought or whether it be an action like a, an event or whatever it be, it's our job to keep them alive. That's what I do for my father. Yeah, man. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. That's good stuff, dude. She affected a lot of different people, though. So, I mean, for me to be, I won't say the closest person to her, because James definitely was, but and she had other friends that were very close and other family members, but I know I was one of the most important people in her life. And that means a lot to me, because she had a lot of people around her, you know, that loved her, and, you know. But uh, I was that, that person, you know, that she spoke to and talked to and cried to, laughed, you know. And those, those back to it, those, those are the things I will miss, you know, but I'll develop new ones. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. I mean, I appreciate your time, dude. You have a fascinating story, man. I can't wait to read your book. I can't wait to meet you because I'm booked for the, the draft, man. I'll be there, dude. So let's yeah, meet up, man, get some pics and, and, and hang out. Let's, uh, Let's make sure we uh, set a date, you know, I mean, where, where we are, uh, maybe the next day or the day before, where we uh, take a minute and just meet with each other and have a drink and talk about and BS about over whatever, we, you know, we want to, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. I'm with it. I'll buy. How about that? <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, before I let you go, man, tell the Raider Nation where to find you on social media. Well, you can go to Facebook. You can look up Alonzo Thomas. I'm on Facebook. Um, Instagram, I think it's 
Lonzo Thomas 77. I hardly use that thing, but that's where I'm at on that. And uh, anything you have to see that has to do with anything about the SBA or the Silver and Black Alliance, just ask one of those official members how to become one. We are opening up chapters all over the world. So there's going to be a chapter opening up near you. And I would love for everyone to follow this SBA movement and be a part of something great. All right, man. I'm tempted. I'm ready. <laughs> you in, brother. All right, cool. Well, <laughs> let me let you go, bro. And uh, like I said, I look forward to getting you back on the channel, man, and, and meeting up with you. Oh, shoot. Anytime. It was a blast. All right, cool. Well, thank you. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> Well, there you go, Raider Nation. Alonzo Thomas, the son of Dr. Death. Can you imagine growing up around all those Raider players like that? You know, bullshitting with Al Davis. Yeah, I mean, that's cool stuff, man. That's cool stuff. And, you know, he saw his father giving back, so he tries to give back. That's the great thing about the Raider Nation, you know. I'm going to give back. I've been, I'm, I'm doing St. Jude's. I'm going to do more St. Jude's. Every time I hear this, I want to do more and more and more and more. This is great stuff, y'all. Uh, so let me go ahead and get Michael Argon. He's our next guest. Uh, the Black Hole, uh, Santa, uh, no, damn it, that's Polo, Santa Maria. The Black Hole Richmond chapter president uh, and also Raider Droopy of the Raider Homies. All right, Raider Nation, Mike just got home. He's getting ready. So this time I'm a little better prepared for this kind of stuff. So while we're waiting on Droopy Raider or Raider Droopy, let's hear from Karen Matters. Hi, Raider Nation. This is Karen Metters of KMCS Shots and Blitzalytics.com. So I want to share with you where you can find all of my fan images from the Raider game sidelines for Raider Nation fan photography. You can go to my Facebook pages, KMTS Shots and Karen Metters Photography. All of those images are free for you to download and use as you please. If you would like to see my NFL authorized game day photos, you can see them at www.blitzalytics.com. That's C-L-I-T-Z-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S. Com. I have a 20% discount special to my Raider Nation family, and that code is Raiders2020. Apply that at purchase to receive a 20% discount on your digital downloads or prints. Those are your choice. So being a self-funded photographer, I fund my travels to all of the away games, and any purchase or a tip for the photographer is greatly appreciated should you like to express your thanks. In this way, you can send any amount you feel led to give at Venmo. My Venmo ID is at K-A-R-E-N-M-E-D-D-E-R-S. And Cash App is dollar sign K-A-R-E-N-M-E-D-D-E-R-S, all one word. Thank you, Raider Homer and Raider Nation. You are watching the Raider Homer channel. Go Raiders! 
what message do you have for the Raider Nation here and now and into the future? Pretty simple, brother. Raider Nation, I'm speaking to you as an ambassador. Always stay true. Stay loyal. Keep the beliefs and keep the faith. We will return. Hey, Raider Nation, this is 559 Raider Travis. I just want to give a shout out to Raider Homer for his unique job. Uh, give him a listen, give him a follow. I'd like to give a shout out to a bunch of others. First and foremost, KOS. My family over there, love to give them a shout out for all they do, as well as the other booster clubs and crews. I'd like to give a shout out to some of the fans. To all you diehard fans, keep it real. Shout out to Queen of the Darkness, Dark Side 52 Demon, Raider Storm, Raider at Beauties, Raider at Guys, Raider at Girls, L Raider Residences, L. I don't know. I give a shout out to the uh, Raider Menaces, Gabe and Timbo, Raider Riddler, Four Dub. Them Raider Boys, Z, for all their music they do. Shout out to that. That's so Jewel. Give her a uh, check out her page. She does great Raider stuff. SoCal Raider Nation. Can't forget Violator, Wayne Mabry. I have my brother, um, Gorilla Rilla, Raider Mob Boss, Raider at Black Eyes. Riot Raider, Joker Raider, Deadpool Raider. I'm going to be a shout out to the uh, North Cal Raider Mob, my old crew. Shout out to Barbecue Rob. If you're ever in Fresno, check out Rob Bayside Barbecue. He's uh, him and his little crew, Silver and Black Riders, Big Mac, Knights of the Shields. Um, Raider Bear and Mama Bear, Black Widow Raiderette, Raiderette Villa, the Cooey. I'm going to give them all a shout out. And let's remember, just because we're going to Vegas doesn't mean that we have to jump the ship. <coughs> it's going to be a tough season. And I have faith and I believe that we are going to come out better than people are thinking. So... One last shout out. Raiders! Have a raiderific, wonderful evening.
Hey, Raider family, what's going on? Uh, just giving a big shout out to Raider Nation. My name is Rick Schreiner. I um, I'm in charge of the the group uh, Sons of Las Vegas, and I'm in several other groups, as you sure you all know. Um, with uh, the Raider Homer Channel as well. Um, just want to give a big shout out to everybody. Glad to be uh, a part of Raider Nation. Y'all are awesome as always. I know things have been a little up and down with our team, especially this last year, but make no mistake, uh, we're going to Vegas next year and, and things are gonna be different, you know? It's, uh, as far as all you, all the car haters out there, I, I, I'm still with car all the way, uh, as far as I'm concerned, he, he he did need some help, and he he's supposed to be getting here soon. Uh, one thing I will say is that, just like Rich Gannon, uh, it took him three years to get Gruden's uh, system down, and uh, this will be year number three, and I think this year will be this will be car year to shine. So you know. Don't give up on the guy, you know. Uh, I have faith in him, and I hope you all do too. With that being said, I just want to thank everybody for uh, the loyalty that you've all shown in my group, Sons of Las Vegas. Uh, I started the group back in, uh, gosh, I think it was uh, mid-summer in 2017 and uh, we're still going strong. Have 3,500 members plus loyal people that have been with me for a while and ones that have joined recently. Hey, Raider Homer, this is Chief Commander Steve. I just want to call and say, man, Dodge Steak has got always done this. Offensive, uh, the rookie of the year honors, Kyler Murray, Travis Steve. I'll put his numbers up against anybody any day, and he could have got, of course, this being the Raiders, he got hosed again, so what else is new? Call me, buddy. Go ready. Bye. All right, Raider Nation, we are back with Michael Aragon, a.k.a. Raider Droopy. How you doing, Mike? Hey, what's up, Homer? How you doing? Doing well, man. Just making it, living life, waiting for the Raider football season to come back. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I've been busy, busy uh, getting ready for stuff, too. And I, there's a bunch more stuff going on this uh, this summer. Yeah, man, I saw that you were just in Vegas, dude. That setup that you had, man, that looked really good. Tell the Raider Nation what you oh, were for, doing in Vegas. Uh, well, uh, I actually went out there for the uh, Super Bowl. We had a Super Bowl party, and I got to chop it up with uh, a bunch of new uh, booster clubs out there, you know, such as the um, Molosos, the Heavy Hitters, uh, Volanos, Wrecking Crew, SBA, you know, just – sit down have dinner with these people and uh then um then i uh, went for the super bowl party then actually i stayed another week and i we had a booth at the magic clothing convention at the mandalay bay that's probably the pictures you've seen at our booth yeah and it was there for four days at that so a total of 10 days in las vegas is a, a long time and to be in vegas if you've ever been there that long no i've never even been there i'm going there though in the draft 
<laughs> you better go there for the draft, man. We, uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to be doing a lot of things that that week. Uh, for that week, speaking about draft, uh, we're actually going to go to the Ice Cube concert on the 25th. If you ain't busy, you better get your tickets. Oh, I won't be there until oh, the 25th. I might be able to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. The draft is the 23rd. The main one is Thursday. And then uh, Friday, we're planning on having our uh, TBH party Friday night. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of parties that night because that's the only time to really have parties. Because, like I said, Saturday night is the uh, Ice Cube concert. So that's the plan. So uh, how are you feeling about the, the black hole being in Vegas now? You know, uh, at first, you know, it was rough, you know, being, being in Oakland my whole life. But, you know, we accepted it. And, and you know, it's actually a good thing. We have a, we have our black hole uh, office right to, right next to the stadium. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, talk about parking, you know. <laughs> it's probably 20 yards away from the stadium. I mean, nice. that's good. So, yeah. So we're going to try to uh, – and we're going to do the um, big giant tailgate like we did. We've been doing it in Oakland for years. Nothing's going to change. Actually, it's probably get bigger. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're just gonna uh, when we're ready, we're gonna put that put that out there too. But uh, I'm waiting for a forward to that. Looking forward to that. Yeah, man, the black hole yeah. is busy. Uh, Cisco came on the channel not too long ago, and he and I asked him what you know if there were any plans for Vegas, and he said yeah. And so here they are. You know, they're, they're yeah, here. yeah, we got the yeah we got a draft party going, and of course we're gonna have our you know a kickoff party like we've been doing in Oakland for the last you know over ten years. We're gonna do a you know kickoff party Las Vegas with our Las Vegas chapter, and uh, you know it's just be just it's just home you know just be, just like an Oakland. Man, last so. year's kickoff party was bad ass, man. I had a <laughs> uh, thank blast. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good time, man. It was rough to be our last one in Oakland, but it, it's we're gonna have even better in Vegas. Just watch. Oh yeah, I believe it. I believe it, especially with so many people you know from Oakland going there. You know, and showing oh, yeah, the Vegas fans how to do it, you know, and how it's done right. Uh, they're good people, man. I met so many. The last 10 days I was out there, like I said, I met so many good uh, booster clubs, good people. They welcomed they welcomed me. They welcomed us. You know, like I said, I had dinner and breakfast with some of the Bolanos and the Wrecking Crew. And, of course, uh, sushi with, S with Alonzo from uh, SBA. And I wanted to meet up with a bunch of other ones when I go out there. And they're real good people. Yeah, I just had Alonzo on before you. Man, he was telling me okay. some cool stories about growing up around Raider players, man. That's that was an awesome oh. call. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, me, man. Yeah, he his dad and you know, and all the guys he hung out with, that was a yeah. That'd be something like you know I'd like to be a part of as a kid, you know. You couldn't right? have anything better, right? Yeah. You know? So yeah, definitely. So, but uh, I heard I heard you became a member, a black hole member too. Right? Yes, True. sir. Yes, sir. I did. <laughs> All yeah. right. Congrats, man. Right here. Congrats. Official member. Good job. So, uh, so uh, shoot. Uh, let me see what I've got going. And uh, so February 29th. That's actually right around the corner. That's going to be. Uh, homies are busy this this summer. I've never been. We've never been so busy. Busy's Ever, good. you know, without I, I, almost something going on every weekend after uh, I think after May is our only break. No, after March actually, yeah, because February 29th, uh, we got a KOS, um, 408 has a meet and greet in Santa Clara, so we're going to be down there, and that's just a week and a half away. So if anybody in the San Jose area hit us up, you know. Yeah. And then what else is going on? February 29th, uh, TBA Santa Maria has their uh, at the Tilt and Kilt. They got Tom Flores over there in the city of Orange. That's cool. What else is going on? Uh, April 4th. Oh, April 4th. Um, we're going to be in uh, Albuquerque. Yeah, you ever I'll been be to there. a Matanza? I'll be there. Uh, for, yeah, our TBA uh, Albuquerque chapter is having a Matanza. Do you know what that is? A matanza? Yeah, yeah, they're going to slaughter the pig, process the meat, and then we're all going to grub out. Oh yeah, my carnitas and chicharrones. So it's uh, it's always a good time. That's where my family's from, so I know it well. You know. Oh, that's cool. Yep. And then what? April eighteenth, uh, PBH Santa Maria has their barbecue. 
in, what, April 23rd, the NFL draft, 24th of TBH draft party, April 25th, we're all going to uh, uh, Ice Cube concert. Let me see. May 2nd is RFC in Phoenix. I'm going to that May one, 16th. too. <laughs> Shout out to the Phoenix one? chapter. That's the chapter I joined uh, with uh, uh, Hell Raider and, Hell Raider. and Max. Yeah. yeah. You know, definitely. Uh, and the 16th, there's actually two events going on. Uh, the Raider Nation Summer Kickoff, that's in Bakersfield. And then uh, the Raider Nation Celebration at Fresno. Well, you know, they, they have two events are going to try to be going down. What else? Uh, May 23rd is uh, the TBH Santa Maria Golf Tournament. Uh, May 30th is also uh, the TBH uh, Santa Maria Parade. That's, I'll be there, too. I'm ready to see Polo. <laughs> You'll be there, too. Are you going to make the explosion? That'll be, uh, yep. no, no, no. That's like um, June 12th and 13th is Raider Fan Fest. You're going to Monterey, Mexico? No, I'm not going to be able to make that one. I got the the last one I'm going to be able to make after the uh, uh, parade is uh, the explosion because then I want to try to make it to a couple games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, well, with June 20th is a, a TNBC, the Raider Bash in Arlington, Texas, with also Raider. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be at that one. But, yeah, I mean, that's just a short yeah, drive. Yeah, my boy's there. Then June 11th is actually uh, up north in Washington, the Southwest Booster Club uh, Summer Barbecue. Uh, then uh, July 18th is the um, explosion in Madera. I'll be there. And then August 1st is uh, the Summer Fest uh, in Rosarito with, with Juan. Yeah, that's cool. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do a little day thing. I think he's gonna have like a, uh, like wrestling, uh, like lucha libres and all that stuff out there. So be, uh, be pretty fun. I actually heard they have like a, a pinhead, a hell raider, a hell razor one. So we're gonna ask uh, our hell raider if he'll battle him. <laughs> like be Ronnie in the ring. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Ronnie. Hey, I haven't told Ronnie. I haven't told Ronnie that yet. But I'm gonna see if he'll battle our hell raider or battle alert pinhead. So we'll see. You know. <laughs> uh... Battle of the we'll Demons. See if for that one. And then uh, I think that's the last one in August. Then um, we're going to be uh, waiting on the schedules, and we're going to have our, um, like I said, our, our home opener kickoff either September 12th or, or 19th, whenever that, uh, you know, whenever they uh, put the schedule out. The schedule should be out like around April 18th. So we'll know in about two months. Yeah, I got some. That's about my plan. <laughs> Yeah, I got some points I'm going to use uh, from Southwest to make it to that first game in, in Vegas, man. I got to get there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the tickets, right? But I got to get there. I got to be there, you know, for oh, you the gotta first be game for in Vegas. That, that first game. Hey, the draft and the game, it's going to be something. Well, they're expecting, what, 700,000 people to a million people for the draft? God, I mean, so, crazy. man, it's, yeah, yeah, they're going to shut down the strip for three days. It's right there in front of the Bellagio and that. And I got the hookup, so trust me, the homies are going to be right there in front. Watch. <laughs> oh, what's the over under on how many of those fans are going to be Raiders? You know, let's say you know, <laughs> yeah, half of them, right? What's the over under? Yep. Actually, over. I'm going to say over. I yeah. Couldn't tell you, but there's going to be a just a mob of you know, you know all kinds of fans. But just wait till wait till we get out there. There's so many Raider fans out there in Vegas too. I, I didn't. I didn't know there was that many toes out there the last 10 days. There's a bunch of good, good people out there. Did you uh, get any pictures with the stadium? Actually, uh, we went by there. We didn't stop because it was almost nighttime, but we did go to the uh, Pound Center where they have the museum and the, um, the uh, Raider image. So we went to take a look. We went to the museum, and if you have season tickets, they take you in the back, and they got that mock uh, stadium about the – about a five foot stadium they show you where your seats are and then uh they take you upstairs on the elevator to show you what the club seats look like oh that's you know they're all white leather with sterling silver hockey pans all over it's, it's beautiful man so, i can't wait yeah to see uh, that state yeah, yeah. that that stadium is just something else it's real shiny black it's, it's beautiful man but i sure am glad that i got to see oakland you know that was special too man Oh yeah, that's never gonna be duplicated. But you know, got to move on. You know, yeah. Sad they have to leave, but we, you know, I'm, I'm beautiful stadium, beautiful city. You know, <laughs> like I said, ten days of 
a long time to be there. All we did is eat and drink. So, man, I got to get back to the gym. Man, cause I gained about eight pounds out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But it was cool. I got to give props to Dougie and Darlene. Uh, they let me stay at their house. They, they gave me a house key. I got my own room there. So, big shout out to Doug and Darlene taking care of me. So How about you? You got a you got a spot you got a spot out there when you go to draft? Well, I rented a hotel, the same hotel that Sammy's gonna be at. I'm gonna try to do some some uh, behind the scenes documentary work with Sammy. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna just roll with the black hole, you know. Yeah, yeah. What day are you getting in? That Thursday morning or Wednesday night? What Probably season? Thursday afternoon, I think, right around noon. So just in time right. to uh-huh. make it there. But Sammy was saying it's it's right on the strip. So I'm, we're going to be oh, real good. close. Yeah, actually, I'll be there Wednesday. Double G flies in Wednesday. We're going to start uh, start a, have a barbecue. <laughs> Whoever comes out Wednesday night, you know, at the Wyndham at his spot. So, yeah. You know, get, yeah. get us up, you know, start partying early, you know. For sure, yeah. Uh, Double G was telling me to, to go ahead and go over there where he was staying. That I could broadcast there from there go. and all that because I'm trying to broadcast yeah, from there. Definitely. Oh, that'd be cool. If you get there Thursday early enough Thursday, that'd be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll hit up Sam and see where you guys are staying at. Matter of fact, I can call him up after we're done here. So. All right, cool. I hey, booked my flight out to New Mexico. So, yeah. Hey, so uh, I, w- I won't be driving into New Mexico with the Gray Raider, man. Me and him are taking a road trip Our, up there. I'm not kidding. What part? Uh, Albuquerque. We're going to the Montanza. Oh, for that? Oh, you're going to go with him? Okay. Yeah. All right. Just gonna go oh, yeah, yeah. What's cool there, too? My mother lives there, so I got me a spot there, too. So I'm, I'm good, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's key, man. That's, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, Max said I could camp out with him over there when I get to uh, Arizona, you know? So that's okay. cool, you know, the more connections I make, man. Hopefully the bills go down, you know, because it's expensive to get out there and travel. But it's worth it, man. I've had a, I've had a blast, you know? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'll say it every time. Joker Raider told me at the beginning of this channel that when you get out there, it's like being in a family. It's, it's like you've seen family members that you haven't seen in a while, and it's true. I mean, the arms wide open, you know, they embrace you. It's cool, man. I, it's, it's, it, I love it. That's worth every penny. Oh, man, that's how the Raider Nation is. Yeah, you go to different cities or, you know, different states, different countries, and um, they're all like that, you know, good people, you know, great yeah. people. Yeah. Hey, so the, that's about it. The first time you came on this channel, man, you were you were you know dropping a teaser of some big things that were going to be happening with the Raider homies. Uh, can you let us know what happened? Yeah, so um, my cousin David actually signed with uh, Disney, so they they are gonna the homies are gonna be on not Raider homies but the homies and the kids version, which are called Mijos. Actually, the Mijos are gonna be on first they uh, on on Disney. I don't know when, but, you know, it's all signed, set. Uh, Disney Studios flies him out there all the time. I went, you know, and uh, we're just waiting to, uh, you know, get it all done. They're working on a Bible, which is like a, a script, they call it, but it's called a Bible. And uh, we're waiting. You know, he's super excited. Right now, he's actually selling. My cousin Dave is actually selling his 60th birthday in Mexico City. So, <laughs> you know, happy birthday to him. Happy birthday. Hear this. But yeah, uh, he's been waiting. He's been trying to do this since '95. Uh, the homies in Hollywood, and he's out of different opportunities. Finally, this this uh, this one really came through. And he's set, you know. And uh, hopefully, I can retire from my position at my job. I've been at 35 years in the post office, and I can go to work with him. So that's uh, that's what I'm wanting to do. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be real cool. Make a career change. Uh, Oh yeah, one time in my life where I could do that. You know, I could have retired as of two months ago. So thinking about even either moving to Vegas or LA. So we'll see what the what goes what the future holds for me. Man, I'm with you on moving to Vegas. Man, I'm so tempted to move to Vegas. Ain't nothing holding me back. You know. Just... Hey, hey, it's a, it's beautiful. I mean, right 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 now. I mean, the weather's like you know, Cal- like Bay Area weather. Nice. But, you know, the only time you got to go out there and worry about it in the summer. Yeah. When I did last year, and it was like 117, you know, it's ridiculous. I don't, you know, but that's what swimming pools and air conditioning is for, right? Yeah. 
I was gonna say maybe there that that's the one thing that's holding me back is the heat. I mean in Texas, hey. you know, we deal with 110 and it's real humid. So they see you know they say that seems like it's harder. So I think I can handle it because it's supposed to be a dry heat over there. But man, I think it, I think it can handle. It. I mean, us in the Bay Area, a bunch of sissies, man. We cry when it's uh, 55 too cold and 75 <laughs> too hot for us. You know? <laughs> hey, I admit it, man. A bunch of sissies. But hey, that's what how the Bay Area is. You know, we're blessed. You know, we don't have the four seasons. So to go out there and experience 100 degrees is rough for us. But uh, it's only three, four months. I think I can do it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can do it too, man. Plus, I'll be there, you know, like move to Henderson, right? And be able to attend right. the Raider practices, you know, to drive by to the practice facility. And then what it's only yeah. like an hour drive to the stadium from there, right? Yeah, it's not even that, I yeah. believe. I, I, yeah, that's another thing I would have missed. I mean, I'm so, I live near Napa. Uh, so, you know, the training camp, you know, I've been doing that forever, years and years. And that's an, another thing I'm not going to get to do in the future, you know. Yeah, unless you move to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, I man. Know, I think they're still, I, I heard they're still going to have it here in Napa. Did you hear that for this last season? I think they're going to do it this year. I'm not quite sure after that, though, because they got a badass practice facility that they're building over there in Henderson, man. Multiple fields and a huge working out, uh, workout area, and, you know. So, But I think they are going to be there for this year. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. Well, I'll be there. Well, cool, man. Get some pictures, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe you can Skype in live from Napa. The Raider Homies, <laughs> boom, on the Raider Homer channel. Here we go. Well, have you ever, have you ever, well, you never been to the training camp in Napa, right? No, not in Napa. I no. saw the Raiders practice against the Cowboys here in Austin uh, at St. Edwards for a couple years, and that's about it. Yeah, it's different. It's not like being at the game. It's real quiet. You know, no picture taken, no no videos. Only when they put up the sign and say, you know, it's time. And that's only when they're, like, stretching. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a different environment. It's cool though, you know. They, after that, they'll after practice, they'll come up and sign autographs. All the people are there, so it's good. Like I said, it's like ten minutes from the house, so yeah. I'm gonna miss that too. Well, all right, man. You know, before I let you go, you know, I appreciate you coming back on the channel and supporting the channel. But tell the Raider Nation where they can find you on social media. Pardon me? Oh, you like, what was that again? Uh, tell the Raider Nation where they can find you on social media. Oh, they'll find me on Facebook. <laughs> Raider Droopy. Just look at that. Facebook and Instagram. Hit, us, hit me up, you know. Get to some of these events, man. Take some pictures with the Raider homies. Oh, definitely. Yeah, my, yeah. come out. Uh, like I said, a week and a half. If anybody's in the, near San Jose, we'll be over there. So, uh. Yeah, and I'll keep you posted. I'll keep the pictures coming. All right, cool. Well, thanks, Mike, man. I appreciate it. All right, brother. I appreciate it, man. Anytime. I appreciate being on your show. Well, I'm going to get you back on pretty soon. You're going to all these events, so we're going to have to hear about it. We, we want to hear about it. <laughs> I man. got you, man. All right, bro. Definitely. All right. Hey, right, take care. Right, thanks. Bye. bye. Well, there you go, Raider Nation. You heard from Raider Droopy. Get there on social media, on Facebook, and find him, man. He does some great things, too. Everybody in the Raider Nation works their ass off, so go out there and support him, all right? Now, while we were waiting for him, I played all the spare stuff I had, so we're just going to go ahead and check on out of here. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe Raider Homer on Facebook, Twitter, IG, and YouTube. I appreciate it, Raider Nation. Y'all have a good one. We'll